The man on the floor is 27-year-old Ashraf Abu Rahma. He was cuffed, blindfolded and beaten for 30 minutes by Israeli soldiers after being arrested for taking part in a peaceful protest against the separation wall last year. The whole incident was caught on camera by a Palestinian girl filming from her window. But that's not the worst part. Watch it again and you clearly see the soldier firing a rubber-coated steel bullet at Ashraf's legs at close range, hitting his left toe. At first, the soldier involved and his commander were charged with unbecoming behavior following an internal probe into the incident. But after four civil rights groups petitioned the High Court, the Chief Justice added charges of attempted threat and illegal use of a weapon. The soldier's lawyer admitted wrongdoing but argued the charges were too harsh. You should remember the amount of pressure the soldier was under. He was pressured by the violent events around him and by the order given by his commander. In light of these circumstances, it is possible that his judgment was inadequate. But we think it should be questioned whether his judgment was inadequate enough to bring about criminal charges. This is the second time in just over a week an Israeli soldier has been charged or convicted of criminal behavior against Palestinians. The last time was over a soldier's actions during the Gaza war. And in both cases, it was human rights groups that intervened, forcing the military to take further action against its own. Complaints of police brutality of Palestinian detainees are rife. The incident with Ashraf happened to be caught on camera, but rights groups question how many others go unnoticed and unchecked by an army which claims to be one of the most moral in the world. Shireen Tadros, Al Jazeera, Jerusalem.